Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Oh, and so that's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? I wouldn't waste my time in all these white pumpkin games. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. So I've heard. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. What? Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here, maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. And I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the White Pumpkin really is? No, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having talked to all the key witnesses, I think it might be... Stampy Cat! No! That's crazy talk! Absolute crazy talk! Of the suspects, he's the one with the redstone chops to make all these traps. No, 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 no! You can't really believe this! Can you? I'm thinking we lock him back in that library. Hold him there till morning. Sounds like a good plan. Sorry, Stampy, but we can't take any chances here. Oh, come here. on! I'm Stampy Cat! Mr. Stampy! I'm no white pumpkin! Well... That was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? There are too many loose ends flying around. A lot of evidence that doesn't add up. We need to find some definitive concrete evidence. Got it. I'm on the lookout.
Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How'd I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. that lever does okay everyone make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap more of those potion covered arrows nasty well seems like we found out how the white pumpkin killed torque dog yeah and how he's getting around the house i assume we're investigating the creepy passageway I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Stampy's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Stampy is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Gents! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. See anything that this lever might be connected to? What do you see? It's the library. I can see Stampy locked up in there. Hey, I have to speak to you. Oh, Dan, what are you doing here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Uh, Lucas? But I had to speak to you. It's really important. It was me. I killed Sparkles. What? You're the White Pumpkin? Oh, what? No, 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 no. I swear, it was an accident. But, but, Dan, accident? Really? I swear, I had no idea. There was this button. I'm not good with buttons. I had to push it, and I had no idea what it would do. Now I feel awful. Well, it's just... that's a little hard to believe. I know, I know, it sounds ridiculous. I've been beating myself up about it ever since it happened. And then you got locked up in here? I just had to come in, in there. clear my conscience. Then let's go kick his butt. What on earth? What's going on? The door's locked, Jesse! Spiders, they're everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way. Try 
This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there, Jesse, I'll cut him off. Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, he, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you is still the White Pumpkin, and you're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now... Dan is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside? Outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Now, hang on. I may still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse saved me. It just wouldn't feel right to throw your friend to the googlies. Hm. Brave stance. Man, at least you're reasonable. Yeah, unlike some of these people. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? You okay with that, Lucas? Well, <laughs> I'd prefer not being locked in a closet. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No. Of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay. Well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. 
Somehow the white pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me.